Oh god! Ouch. Oh god! Yep. New game. Winter Kira. Hello, Mizuki, and Kuraneka. Hi. Welcome to the stream. Good evening. We are starting a new game. Oh well, not exactly a new game. This game has been sitting on my backlog for I think a year now. Yeah, I think a year or greater than that. And I'm restarting Donkey Kong Con Donkey Kong Country Trop Tropical Freeze. I, I forgot to, to put the country in the title. But yeah, we are playing Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. It is a difficult, a challenging 2D platform game. So uh, a lot of people, um, a lot of people say that Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze is one of the best and one of the most challenging 2D platform games. Not just in um, the Nintendo Switch or in the, the Wii U, but in everything, in all of 2D platform games. So um, yeah, but I have played a bit of it already. That doesn't mean that I remember most of it. So I'm just gonna uh, play a new game. Yes. Yeah. So this is a game developed by Retro Studios, also the also the developers behind the Metroid Prime series. So even if we're playing Donkey Kong, we're not really straying far from Metroid. Speaking of Metroid, Nintendo released another trailer for N Metroid Dread. So excited for that game. Anyway, start a new game. Funky mode. Nope. Let's go for original mode. So funky mode was a new feature added to the Switch version of the game that simplifies the game, the entire game. It lets you play as Funky Kong. Or in, um, as Funky Kong, you can just breeze through a level. So no hazards. The only thing that you have to worry about are pits. So you just have to jump. But, well, let's go original mode. And in the original mode, we will... We get to play as, uh, I think four characters. So there's da Donkey Kong, Diddy Kong, um, Dixie Kong, and Cranky Kong. Yes. Yes. You can change your control mode. Okay. Let's go. <clears throat> Is this a pain game? I think. Oh, some parts of it. At least based on uh, my gameplay. Me, based on what little gameplay that I did last year of this game. A bit. Yep. But I think after... I've played Celeste. And um, I think after playing Celeste... Playing and completing Celeste, nothing can surprise me when it comes to 2D platform games. But we'll see. So these are our characters, the DK family, and they are celebrating DK's birthday. Changing devices so you can eat dinner. Oh, no rush, Kuronako. Please, savor your dinner. Especially if you're eating spicy food again. Although, uh, I wonder, is it, is, it is it better to eat spicy food fast or slow? Because I imagine if, it, if you eat it fast, if you just wolf it down, you won't feel the heat. You won't feel the heat as much as when you eat it slowly. Ah, but still, I think it's better to savor the food. Oops! I think you're gonna, you're seeing my friend list. Let me just increase the logo over here. I wonder if you guys have taken notice, but this logo has been sitting over at the top left here for. I wonder how many streams now. But yep, this logo was a commission from. Uh, so I commissioned it to. Uh, what was her name? Ah, Calamity Dahlia. At Calamity Dahlia. Over on Twitter. So, and I think her commissions are open. So if you want logos or artworks. And I think she also makes overlays. So if you want those, you can check out her Twitter, her Twitter profile. Okay. 
I always eat spicy food. You'll suffer first, but I always eat first. That's the thing. Yep. Eat them first. It's the same pain. I see. Alright. Oh, well, we start the game right away. YX. Yeah, we start the game with... DK. Donkey Kong. Alright. I hope the sound is alright. I think it's too loud. Let me lower the sound for a bit. Oh, I'm doing you already. So, um, what separates the Donkey Kong franchise from other 2D platform games is that you can slam the ground, you can also roll when you're running. Oh, what else? And there's a lot to collect in each level. Actually, there's an, uh, there there are bananas, and there are balloons, and there, there are kind of like coins or puzzles like those so it's not just a simple 2d platform game where you start on the leftmost side of the screen and you make your way to the right side of the screen to the end so uh, you also have to collect a lot of things uh, lots of collectibles there are bananas those coins and the, the the Kong letters, the, the letters that spells Kong. I can't reach it. Yay! Uh, but anyway, it's not really crucial. Oops. It's not crucial to collect each and everything. Unless you you want... 100% completion of the game, it's fine if you don't uh, collect all of them. But yeah, I guess for bragging rights, if you collect 100% of everything... There. Uh, plus, uh, it adds to the challenge of the game because some of these collectibles are really difficult to get it depends on the placement of the enemies of the platforms <gasps> so, it's already surprising me it depends on the placement of the enemies of the platforms of a lot of things actually a lot of a lot of things factor into this game now then here we can select oh okay so i guess that's later in the game because uh, when we encounter barrels like this, we can select our sidekick, and it will change the the way we can play the game. We can select uh, among Diddy Kong, Dixie Kong, and Cranky Kong. So for now, we get uh, Diddy Kong, and Diddy Kong has a jetpack. We can hover in the air for a bit. Yep. Let me get these bananas. And there are also some hidden areas in the- Oh! Oh, well, there goes Diddy. Ah, oh, no wait, Diddy, Diddy is still with us. So whenever we pick up a sidekick, we get an additional two hearts. And that is for Diddy, the sidekick. If we lose, uh, if we have a sidekick and we lose two hearts, the sidekick gets kicked out. But we can still survive. Banana! Banana! I 
And also, um, another thing to note, uh, another thing that Donkey Kong Trop Tropical Freeze does so well is uh, storytelling, visual storytelling. And that um, it doesn't explicitly have any cutscenes. Or well, it does, but it doesn't really show much in the progression of the story. Rather, if you pay attention to the background of each level, you'll see that uh, the characters are really making progress. Because the scenery changes. Like they're telling a story and they're progressing through the island. Whoops. I missed the letter N. I missed the balloon! I'm not aiming for 100% completion, but it'd be nice if I could. Right, checkpoint, and here's another Diddy Kong. Banana. Ow. Ah, well, there goes Diddy. I'm sorry, Diddy. Just, we're just gonna do this until the end of time. And a puzzle piece. <laughs> nice. And I'll up almost. Also, as we go along uh, the game, we'll get to see more uh, more game mechanics. And unlock more game mechanics, such as Donkey Kong riding a rhino. And I'm dead. <sighs> it's just the first level. Just the first level. You'll be seeing this a lot. Don't worry, you'll be seeing this a lot. And it seems like since we went back to uh, the checkpoint, uh, the pigs here probably haven't given us the bananas yet. And they, yep, they're just gonna give us their bananas. Look how generous they are. Which platformer is better, Mario DK or Metroid? Um, I'm gonna exclude Metroid. Oh no, the bananas. I'm gonna exclude Metroid there since uh, Metroid's approach to platforming is different from um, from Mario and Donkey Kong. But if if it's between Donkey Kong and Mario, eh, I'm gonna say Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong is better. I'm guessing uh, it's because Mario is much more kid friendly, much more accessible, 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 accessible to a wider audience. Donkey Kong is uh, much more challenging. <laughs> yeah, Donkey Kong is much more challenging. And it's not just this one, also, the early, the early Donkey Kong games. Donkey Kong Country, yep. The original Donkey Kong Country games on the SNES? And pick this up and shoot there. Because in Mario, the uh, Nintendo rarely changes the Mario formula. Especially in their 2D, the 2D Mario games. Sometimes they just introduce a new, a new power-up and then they just structure the levels according to what the power-up can do. So yeah, but I think Nintendo... Nintendo... When it comes to Mario, Nintendo does 
Mario when it does Mario better when it's in 3D rather than when it's in 2D. L plus R, alright. Okay. Balloons! More balloons! Balloons! Ah, uh, so in here, this is kind of like our one up, the balloons. It doesn't make sense, but it is. Hello? Oh, okay. uh, this will be the end of it. <laughs> First level done. That wasn't so bad. Yep. Cog. I am just a cog in the wheel. So I excluded Metroid because the platforming in Metroid has more action and exploration to it. It's a Metroidvania. That's why... But if if we if we really need to include Metroid, I'm gonna say Metroid is better. I am biased when it comes to Metroid. Since you will get Al Aloy and Genshin soon when you play Horizon Zero Dawn, I have been wanting to play Horizon Zero Dawn. However, it's a long game, and I think I need to commit a lot of time to it. So maybe, maybe when I've cleared up some of the games that I plan on playing, because. September and October has two two of the, my most awaited games. So in September, on September 16th, it's gonna release on the 16th. It's Eastward. I plan on playing that. And in October, it's going to be Metroid Dread. November, I'm still not sure if I want to play, or rather, if I, I want to play it, I'm not sure if I can stream it. Uh, Shin Megami Tensei 5, because Atlas is strict when it comes to their their games. They impose restrictions, and I'm not sure if we are al we're allowed to stream SMTV. Play level. Because I remember reading articles that restricted uh, streamers or content creators from streaming Persona 5. Yeah, because there are, um, they don't want, they don't want us or streamers or content creators, they don't want the story of Persona 5 to get spoiled. But then again, shouldn't it be up to the to the audience whether they want to get spoiled or not? Huh? How do I reach that? Hmm? Ah. Oh wait, water. Must be something beneath. So maybe after I finish some of the games that I've been waiting for a long time. Okay, here it is. And um, I do have Horizon Zero Dawn already. It's in my backlog. It's one of the free games that I got when I bought my my PS4. It was on a promo. And along with Horizon Zero Dawn, I also got God of War for the PS4. God of War and... The Last of Us, the original uh, The Last of Us. I started that. I started that game, The Last of Us, but I couldn't get through. Um, after the time skip with Joel and the girl, the the lady he was with. After the initial, after the scene with Joel and his daughter. I didn't continue past that because I didn't find the gameplay too engaging. There's a lot of uh, talking and kind of like it's like watching a, a cinematic with gameplay elements. I haven't gotten into the meat of the action yet, so maybe I need to dedicate more time. All right, now we're, we've changed to Dixie Kong. Dixie Kong can uh, hover, or no, can. Give us more air time, or more height. Yep, more height. Where Diddy Kong allows us to glide farther horizontally. Dixie Kong can do that. I don't know.
Bonus stage. Get a chance for a lives or balloons. And this is not the always. This is not always the easiest part of the game. It's time pressure, and I hate. I hate it when we're pressured for time. And it requires a lot of precision. Okay, here we go. Ah, got it. And it's possible to miss that puzzle. You can collect all the bananas, but if you miss that puzzle, well, good. I'm <laughs> sorry. Tough luck. Need to do it again. Shot. It's a Gura. Oh, sorry, Gura. Art checkpoint. <gasps> oh, a day. Another heart. <laughs> and also swimming. Donkey Kong does swimming better than 2D Mario games. It's much faster. Even though there's an air, an air mechanic, an oxygen mechanic. Oh, 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 coins, coins, coins. Go, 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 go. Nice. Out of the way, fish. Oh, bananas, bananas. More bananas. And when you think about it, what do they plan on doing with all these bananas? Bananas spoil easily. Oh, 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 bleeds, bleeds, bleeds. End of the level, that was fast. A balloon! Got a balloon. Hmm, we still didn't complete the Kong. Hello, guards! Welcome to the stream. And also, no blick, I forgot to greet you. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> I went ahead and answered your question. This one is, I think, um, a shop? Yep. This is Funky Kong. So this is the character that we play as if we selected Funky Mode from the start of the game. And Funky... As Funky Kong, we ride a surfboard? Yes, we ride a surfboard across each level without any worry of getting harmed by enemies, by spikes, by any traps, nothing. The only concern that we'll have playing Funky Kong are the pits. Yep, bottomless pits. If we fall down, we just restart to an earlier part of the level. But that's the only thing. And I think Funky Kong can actually hover. Anyway, enough with this guy. And here we can select whoever we want to play. 
with this is Cranky Kong, Dixie, and Diddy. Cranky Kong has a cane, a cane that can pogo off of spikes of enemies and platforms. Yes, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure what else. Also, these will just assist us during our yeah, during our adventure. But nah, I'm gonna keep it vanilla. Yep. That was still just the first world or the first island. It'll just get progressively more difficult. Oh no, did they hurt me? <laughs> Winter Kira, I'm so sorry. And please don't don't let me keep you from your academics. Focus on your classes. Uh, the video on demand will always be there if you want to watch back. Huh? Oh. I should have thrown it here. <gasps> okay, here's a sampler of Cranky Kong. There's Cranky. And Cranky can, yeah, can pogo. Off of anything. I'm guessing even spikes, even the fish here. Uh, so anything. Hmm? Even enemies. And I'm guessing a bit of trivia. Wasn't Cranky Kong the original Donkey Kong from the original game? From. No, not from the original game. From. From Mario vs. Donkey Kong. Ow! It was Cranky Kong there. And I don't understand how Cranky Kong got older but Mario didn't. Alright, I'm getting confused about the mechanics of the game already. Oh no! Let's keep going. This is kind of like a tribute to DuckTales, the game. Since wasn't that the game that popularized the pogo mechanic? Yeah, yeah, when we're playing a Scrooge McDuck, he can pogo off of anything, I'm guessing. And the pogo, the pogo mechanic has been used by Shovel Knight and Hollow Knight and... Yeah, just, ju just those two. And this one. No! Huh. Oh go! Oh no no that's not Pogo! Ah, ah. Let's carry Grandpa to safety. <laughs> okay, Winter Kira, uh, please take care. Back later. All right, I'll be here. I'll be here. Yeah, I guess I, I still started early, so I'm guessing we'll get to play this for maybe more than three hours. Just the benefits of starting a stream early. Pogo, Pogo, heart, banana, none. Well, that was pointless. I got a heart but lost it right away. No, Grandpa! Oh, my Grandpa! Alright, no more safety nets. Well, we do have hearts. Oh, shoot. 
How am I gonna get that in here? Oh yeah. Uh. Puzzle piece. Oh come on. How? I need I need Cranky Kong to get Oh wait. Yeah now nah, I need something to throw or something to assist us with that. Or I can sacrifice. Never mind. Never mind. Alright, alright, never mind. Alright, there's Cranky Kong. Pick up! Hi! You are. Yeah, that's fine. Didn't really miss anything. I, I think we're only just on the third world. Or the third stage of the first island. Okay, there's a hidden area over here, is what I'm guessing. Here. There is! I'm going off on my memory. Since I have played part of this already. It doesn't mean I'm any good at it. Grandpa, not again! I'm a failure as a grandchild. Oh, 11 bananas. Didn't expect me to play Donkey Kong. Yeah, me too actually, since this is this is this was not this was part of my backlog. I have been considering playing it but not this soon since I still have lots of games that I want to prioritize. Metroid Fusion especially. I, I'm not sure how many times I've already mentioned Metroid Fusion. But alas, we're playing Donkey Kong. Also Metroid Prime Trilogy. I I said during E3 season that if they didn't announce Metroid Prime Trilogy HD for the Switch, I'd be playing Metroid Prime Trilogy that was available on the Wii U. And while I've already I've already um, figured out how my setup was going to be or is going to be, I haven't played it yet. Because I'm still waiting, maybe this year, maybe Nintendo might still have plans for Metroid Prime Trilogy, though Metroid Metroid Dread is already coming in October. Sinon Mo, hi! Hello, welcome to the stream. We're playing Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong Country, Tropical Freeze, and Kuroneko, you're done eating. How was it? I, I, wait a minute, why am I lagging? Oh, uh. Hmm? I'm lagging, aren't I? Uh, no, not the video, but me. As in me. What's happening? Something is eating up my RAM. Let me check. What the hell? Alright, it seems to be fine, but... That was weird. Why did I lag? Alright, never mind. Never mind. We're good. We're good. Okay, now that we've met all of all of Donkey Kong's companions, travel companions, we can now select between or among the three of them by tapping. By tapping. Okay, dude, you're you're embarrassing me. I thought there was a mechanic. We can switch between the barrels. I guess not this time. Or was it only when we're going up against bosses? Yeah, I remember wrong. Anyway, let's continue. Oh, a challenge level again. For a chance to earn a puzzle piece. What fresh? Oh god. <gasps> uh, I shot myself straight down. 
Idiot. <laughs> I'm an idiot. And unless we die in the same stage, we can't continue it. It's just gonna send us back. Damn it! Ah! I missed my chance. A card. Now, this is one of the game mechanics that I was talking about. It changes up the gameplay by introducing a new way to progress through a level. This one, it's the card. Ah, but this isn't exactly new since this is a staple of the Donkey Kong franchise. Riding the cart. And later, we'll get to ride a rhino. Yes, a rhino. Oh. And uh, while riding the cart, timing is important. If we want to reach some of these items, some of these collectibles, as well as avoid hazards and enemies. Oh well, that was stupid. Mm, come on. And... Uh, <laughs> I never get the timing right. Dead! Ah! Uh, it's impossible to get a game over here, but we're gonna be dying a lot still. Alright, let's continue. Now we don't have Diddy Kong with us. But look at the house, how, how good, how well they designed this level. Each of the levels here. Balloon. E. Okay, things just work. Nice! We're done. And up next, I think, is a boss fight. So, yeah, that, that should be fun. Og! 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 Yep. Yep, tomorrow will be Gardic Phone. And, wa yep, watchers can join. I'll be selecting the anonymous. The anonymous. So, when creating a room in Gardic Phone, you have the choice of. Um, logging on to Discord or Anonymous. I'll be selecting Anonymous so that if the viewers want to join, they can and they don't have to log into their Discord account. Or if they don't have a Discord account, they can still join in. That is tomorrow at 9 p.m. as well. 9 p.m. GMT plus 8. And uh, ready your prompts. Ready your crazy prompts. I've been listing mine as well. So I don't have to worry about getting a mind block. As the timer counts down, and I still haven't come up with a prompt for the players to draw. Yep, I think this is it, the first boss fight. Oh, and here it is. This is how we get to select uh, our companion. So Dixie, Cranky, and Diddy Kong. I'm gonna drink water, you guys decide for me who you want me to play with. Okay, who? Diddy. Alright, Diddy. Let's pick Diddy. Diddy. Yes, I am drinking water. My tea got cold. And Diddy. Come here. I think the first one was against the walrus. Oh, okay, no, that's not, that's not, which, what animal is this again? A sea lion? But wait, what's the difference between a sea lion and a seal? This is a walrus? Hmm. 
Hmm. Alright. Come on. Uh, we can just roll. Retro, Retro Studios really went extra with these boss fights. They didn't have to do this, but they did it anyway. Uh, <laughs> it's just so hard to predict where they'll land. Heart, heart, heart. Okay, okay, okay. And also, this is just the first phase of the boss fight. It's gonna be a long, long boss fight. They're also drawn out. Uh, speaking of phases, phase two. Nice <gasps> penguins. Okay, let's just avoid them. Unless we need hearts, let's just keep avoiding them. They're. Just a little more. Alright, phase three. So first world, the boss the boss already has three health bars. Yep. It's like we're in, uh, in an aquarium. There. Dude, it's not done. Ah, the collision. What the hell? Last one? <gasps> Did he? I'm so sorry. Should be over, but not. See how difficult this game is. Heart, get the heart. It's all timing based, but oh yeah, alright, we're done. Only one, only one punch, but we did it. It's one punch. Donkey Kong. It's fine. So that's it for the first island. See, we're making good progress. But I don't know. I, I really, I actually don't know how long this game is. I've only completed the first third of the game. And I, maybe that took me around five hours? I'm not sure anymore. Alright, next one. Windmill Hill Hills. Windmill Hills. Seal Seal and Sea Lion most distinctive feature is the neck. Seal is that boss. Oh okay. Sea Lion has a longer neck. Th their neck, okay. So what I did is oh, I I fought a sea lion. A sea lion. Yep. Apparently the trips to the local aquarium. No, not the local aquarium. The nearby aquarium. Didn't help me when it comes to understanding marine life. They did tell us how they train the animals. Um, they train it the same way you would train a dog. With a clicker. And lots of fish. Yes, lots of fish. Since... Um, Animals are food motivated, so if you want to train them properly, you also have to give them a reason to follow your command, to follow your orders. No, no! Okay, we opened it anyway. 
Another bonus stage. That was fast. Alright. Please just don't fall. Collect the bananas and don't fall. Looks like we can finish this. Have to be careful. Hey, nice. Here is Dixie Kong. Okay. These levels are getting fast paced. It's a pyro boar. Nah. Nope. Oh, that was so hectic. Yes! So many collectibles. Now we get to play with uh, Diddy Kong, but first, throw that here. And what good is your rocket, rocket launcher? Is this a, a hidden area? Oh no, it's not. <laughs> I, thought, I thought it leads to a secret area. again I can't reach it <laughs> oh too bad puzzle piece It is so busy, I can't... Here. Here. I think I missed one. Uh, terrible. I, and, I, and once we get inside the, the... The barrel, we can't... We can't cancel. We have to commit. Oh boy. Oh, bells, what is this? Right. Oh, 
Nice. Ow, sorry. No, no, no. Oh my god. It's so hard. Just keep bonking you. I need to collect the puzzle piece again. Okay, no rush here. We can just take our time, never mind. Okay, uh, mild rush. Rush mildly. That makes sense. Anyway, it seems like uh, we've already unlocked the puzzle since... Yeah, the puzzle piece over there. Since it's already grayed out or transparent, that means we don't need to complete that again. Penguin. Alright, let's just take our time here and, um... D what the hell? What happened? The oh! The ah, the platforms, they break! Oh, come on. I didn't know! Like this one, they... Br ah! They break apart! Idiot! So we actually do need to rush this place. We can't stay uh, standing on a single platform for too long. Rat! Right. Banana. Oh dear god, no! <laughs> It requires you to move really fast. What the hell? On reach, reach, DK. Oh my! I am so sorry. I'm not doing this on purpose, though. I really am not. I gotta have to know which areas I can rush and which areas I cannot. Or we, I wish I, I can stay for a bit and rest. So, so these platforms, I need to rush here. But I also have to be careful. Rat! Alright, we're good. And um, the last platform on this one, this one, I have to be quick. Right. Uh, uh. Kong! Yes! We completed it! We're playing Kong Pinball. Uh, uh, that was so fast paced. Oh, you know what? Kong Pin- Kong King- uh, Donkey Kong Pinball doesn't actually sound like uh, a bad idea. And Metroid, Metroid Prime Pinball exists. Uh, we're, play a, we're playing as Morph Ball Samus. But this one, the mechanics here in Tropical Freeze in Donkey Kong Country, it's kind of like you can use those barrels as part of a pinball game. 3D platformers or 2D? I prefer 2D. Yes, I prefer 2D. 3D platformers are sometimes kind of a hit and hit or miss for me. Uh, for example, a lot of a lot of people consider Super Mario Galaxy to be one of the best, one of the best games. Uh, I didn't it did not click that well for me. A Super Mario Galaxy. I did not enjoy it as much as most people did. I don't know what I'm missing, or probably because. I don't, I don't 
Yeah, I just don't. I don't find 3D platforms that enjoyable compared to 2D platformers. And there are a lot of good 2D platform platformers out there. For 3D, yes, 3D platformers. I guess Super Mario Odyssey is fine. And that's about it. Super Mario 64, I played... I played a lot on the DS, but when I played, when I replayed the game on the 3D All Stars, I couldn't finish it because it was triggering. The camera controls aged so poorly, and it triggered my motion sickness yet again. I couldn't finish it. If you if you check out my past stream, the the last stream of Super Mario 64 on my channel, you'll notice that at the end part of there, I was just trying to push myself to keep playing. But I was already nauseous around that point. And um, what else? Um, I guess the only the only Super Mario 3D oh no the 3D platform game that I really enjoyed was uh, 3D World, 3D World and 3D Land. So 3D World on the Wii U and 3D Land on the 3DS. That was very good and. It might be because they're played differently. Oh, this is the Rhino. Yes. We can just rush. We are invincible. K. Okay. Uh, the, the style of 3D World and 3D Land uh, is different compared to Odyssey and 64. And sunshine. And I like that better. Okay, just keep running. Bell. Okay, we can just plow through everything. Yep. It's good to be friends with a rhino. This is a rhino, right? I'm not I'm not mistaken. This is a rhino, right? Or is it a different one? But here's the thing. I used to think that a rhino and um a triceratops were the same thing because I, I've been hearing news uh, about the rhino the rhino um like there's there's only okay i should shut up there's only a few rhinos left or it, was it officially ah banana a balloon was it officially declared extinct or was it just is it still critically endangered uh, but anyway when i heard the news i couldn't believe it that rhino still existed because what I was thinking when they, when they said Rhino, the thing that I was ex I, I was thinking about was the Triceratops. And you think, oh, yeah, the dinosaurs still exist today? I'm an idiot. Oh, damn it! I don't. I'm so sorry, don't like. You don't like. I I think it was normal. I, I didn't see the game as many people did. And I, oh my god. When uh, when they praise... The, a lot of... Uh, Super Mario Galaxy had a lot of praises. I think the, the, the thing that I really liked about Super Mario Galaxy is its music. Its gameplay, I think I'm I'm okay with the gameplay. Although I'm not... I don't, I'm not too high on it. High on the gameplay. How am I gonna approach this? We don't have Diddy Kong or Dixie Kong for height. This is actually pr pretty clever. Doosh. Doosh, doosh, doosh. Oh, oh. Oh. 
Yes. No, no, no. Don't leave me. I better yet leave me. Damn it. Dinosaurs still exist. They're cool birds. I guess... They did say that the T-Rex... The, the, the modern dinosaurs are the birds. And that we might have... Or scientists might have... Um, mistaken what dinosaurs look like. When they were still roaming the earth like they might not be um when you when we search for dinosaurs they that might not be what they look like they might have they might be bulky and uh filled with feathers like birds they, they might not be uh, as fierce as they look although i'm not sure yeah i wonder what would the future the future humans would think we look like if they they we didn't have any pictures of us if every photo evidence was erased no uh, uh i so i have to abandon the rhino there what the hell Okay, so I want one thing Mario does better than Donkey Kong, it's surviving pits. Because um, 2D Super Mario games have the wall kick. <laughs> Just enough a mechanic to salvage us from falling down the pits repeatedly. And also Donkey Kong's jump isn't that high at all. That's why sometimes it's hard to judge a jump. Oh well, never mind. So I'm so sorry. It's like when we abandon Yoshi in the games. Well, I can't get that. Too bad. Maybe I can. Oh, oh still alive. Oh come. On. Team Raiden or Team Kokomi? Team Raiden. That's not even a question. Team Raiden. I've, I'll, I'll betray Team Kokomi any time. Oh God. I'll, I'll betray Team Kokomi. I'll be a double agent for Raiden. If it's possible, anyway, if there's... If there's uh, a way for us to choose which route to take to influence the story, although that probably wouldn't happen, so that everyone will have the same experience. But if Mihoyo did that, like we have to choose a route, whether we want to join Raiden or Kokomi, I would join Raiden. No questions asked. I'm not even gonna hesitate. Just gonna wake Kokomi up and say, "Hey, yeah, tactician Kokomi, Miss Sangonomiya. I'm just, I'm just gonna leave." Oh. Team Raiden is better. All right, let's do this better. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Rat. Oh, we still got the letter G, but we sacrificed our self. It's so fast paced. I don't know how to do this. And we're losing balloons. Apparently, I don't know how momentum works. What? Okay, never mind. Go, 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 go. Rush, 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 rush. But this would be so much easier if we had the rhino with us. Never mind. It's fine. Done. Uh, it's always the last part of the level that is so fast-paced that we have to keep moving if we want to survive. No, Winter Kira is back. You got the teacher angry. I'm so sorry for that. It might be familiar with my voice now. I'm gonna blacklist me.
but please definitely don't don't um don't uh, get distracted when you're um or do it's up to you but please i don't want to be the reason uh for your academic troubles you can always watch my videos offline and um and you can always uh, chat with us off stream over at the discord In this one we get to pick between Diddy Dixie and Cranky, but since this is this involves a lot of platforming by jumping, jumping on these leaves, sturdy leaves. Are these maple leaves? I'm gonna pick Dixie. Yep, we need more airtime. Good. No, I don't need Cranky. I don't need Cranky. Please leave me alone. No, Dixie. How is Grandpa gonna help? See, that's what I mean. It's just a downward thrust to hell. Ah. Uh. So, I'm willing to take people's ambitions because Raiden is hot. Yes, I'm not even gonna... I'm not gonna dispute that, yes. And plus Raiden must have her reasons. Yes, I'm, I'm done being morally right. I'm all for Raiden. But god, you didn't have to pose that question like that. bananas this is like the coins in super mario still alive all right another bonus stage let's see what can we do oh it's just the same layout as before we can do this easy easy supposedly just uh, don't have to fall. Nice! There are spikes on the ceiling. I have to be careful with that. Oh, oh. No! It's so hectic. 
Let's just keep selecting uh, Dixie Kong. Yes. Oops! Ju 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 ju! No! Up! 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 Go up! Dixie! And there's there's a scream is so loud. I feel really sorry. And how how am I gonna deal with this? Uh. Oh. Let's see, I jump, jump, jump. Jump, 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 jump. Hey, the wings. What were they snorting when they start? When they decided to give a banana some wings? Ouch. Point. Yes! Ugh. At least we completed something. Oh, another bonus stage. What the hell? Alright, alright. We're safe. We are safe for a bit. Maybe not. Are these owls burning? Jump. All right, got more bananas. <sighs> Hung. All right, yeah, but take it easy, um, Winter Kira. But I do, I do find it. I, I'm not sure how, but my distraction or yeah. But I admired um, your persistence in watching me, Winter Kira. I really appreciate it. Even if you do have a schoolwork to attend to, you're still watching me. They are birch trees. Alright, not maple. Alright, hydrating. Yep, correct. Hydrating. The monkey be bonking. <laughs> That's good. It, it kind of rhymes. The mon monkey be bonking. Sawmill Thrill. Always go to the left side first. There, there might be secrets there. Ah, oh, no, another card level. Okay, so I think I think I know why they call this they called it sawmill. I think it has something to do with sauce. Well, I can't I can't be sure. Saw. Checkpoint. Just not ride the cart? Apparently not. Uh, I wasted a life. Huh. That's such a tough jump. What? Oh, okay. Oh. We're now riding a makeshift boat. For obvious reasons, since we're now underwater. Ah. Ah. And what? I docked. Oh my god, game. Why? Oh, 
It's building the stage right as we go along. Oh, come on. Uh. Again. Pay attention to the blocks. Yes, the blocks. But Retro Studios, man, they're really so good. How was I supposed to do that? Can I control the momentum of the cart or the speed of the cart? I haven't tried it since I all I just I just go for. Oh come on! Uh, at least let me start with the cart. The jumps are so uh, so low. No, it doesn't seem like we can control the speed of the cart. Since I'm pressing back and forward, uh, Donkey Kong remains the same. Yeah, the speed remains the same, so I wonder how I'm, I'm supposed to make that jump. This one. I... Okay. Well, we made it for some reason. Gee. What? <gasps> no! I refuse to accept that. I made it! Wonder why how to, how I can collect that other letter as well. All right, we're jumping. Okay, jumping again. G. What the hell? How? How precise must that jump be? Ugh. Although I have 23 lives, if I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to do this 23 times just to get that, I will do it. But ideally, I should not be doing that. Oh, come on, Donkey Kong! Okay, 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 okay. Yo, come on, come on. Yo! Jump here. Yes! See? That was so hard! Oh, finally, finally. Uh. Uh. Since, since, since you like 2D platformers, I'd like to see you play Mario Maker. I don't have Mario Maker, uh, but uh, for levels, yeah, I had Mario Maker on the Wii U. And yeah, I'm terrible at making levels, but I do enjoy playing, uh, playing player-created levels. However, I think Mario Maker on the Wii U has been phased out. The the online is has been discontinued, so support for that ended. So maybe Super Mario Maker then. But even then, Super Mario Maker is a good game. And it doesn't make sense why Nintendo seems to have abandoned it. They haven't added anything significant to the game since I don't know how how long. This is this is starting to become a problem with Nintendo actually. They develop a game, they release it, they publish it, and then they abandon it. Like uh, Super Mario Party. Although they did have release, they did release a new ver a new Super Mario Party. Was it Super Mario Party All Stars? Yeah, they did release that and it was good but super mario party should have been super mario party all-stars when it released so i kind of don't like this trend that they've been doing but just as long as their flagship franchises is, is fine maybe um it's it's okay like mario zelda metroid yeah those three 
Because Animal Crossing seems to have suffered that as well. A drip drip feed content and nothing much else to do after the after the initial release. Pokemon, I'm not sure. I I just I'm just gonna wait and see what happens to Pokemon. And plus Pokemon is by Game Freak. Developed by Game Freak, not directly by Nintendo. Okay, Dixie again. Oh, never mind. Seems like we can't pick. Oh, I needed them to reach that K. It seems like they're not coming back. Let's try the swing. If we can do it. All right, we can. <gasps> Almost. Nice. Got all the bananas. Okay, Kaku, what the hell happened there? Also, it seems like if we're harmed by enemies, we restore our jump? Is that how it works? Because I was I was sure we were going to die there. Ah, uh, but not really. It was all according to K Kaku. Oh, 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 yes. Supposed to get this. Yes, like that. Nice. Not nice. Almost. Oops, I missed the bananas. <laughs> nice, completed it. This is a pretty chill level compared to the other ones. I got a liking this. Although the scenery is good. Now we're almost done. Just come on. Jump. What if we continue for uh yeah, forward. Let's go. There's a hidden area? More balloons. It's just jiggling. It's a boing boing! It's a boing boing level! Nice! Boing boing. So many boing boing. Oh. We did it. Is getting over it a platformer? 
Oh, and that's an interesting question. I, th I think it is. Yeah, I think it is. Although it's not a traditional... Uh, a platform in a tra traditional sense, but it is. it does involve us um, stepping on platforms to get to a place, to get to a goal. So I think it is. I think it is. Hmm, never thought of it that way, but yeah. I think it is a platformer. Simp jail. You all go to simp jail. But I wonder though, do you simp more for regular Akaido or for maid Akaido? Or for coat Akaido? For the suit Akaido? Lots of variations. But there's still one more Akaido you haven't met. Oops! Yeah, this seems to be a more uh, flat level. A little big cranky Kong. Okay, that was an awful decision. Something supposed to happen? Never mind. Oh, safety net. That's nice. So what was what were we supposed to do? Oh, okay. All right. We needed to spin. It's all timing based. Got it anyway. Cranky platform. <gasps> Cranky for this, or actually, I need Diddy or Dixie Kong for this. Anyone who can give us more airtime. Okay, not so bad. Alright, go, 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 go. What are those for? Oh, just wait. Oh. <sighs> Onwards. To, to where? Glass house? Types of Akaidos. That's nice. Thank you, cards. You don't pick, you choose all of them. That's nice. Although you haven't met. Oh, actually, I think you have cards. I think you're the first one. You're the first one. Yep. When we were. I'll give you a clue. It was when Kuroneko was testing out the announcement bot uh, for the Discord server. Yeah. I used one of the, the models. But th there's lore there that I that I that I haven't revealed yet, or I, maybe I have. No. You mean fourth? Uh, well, actually, there's only just two Akaidos. two Akaidos. and this is the first one. Uh, yeah, the one with yellow eyes. 
and it's just variations of the outfit. But it's, it's still me. Balloon, 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 balloon! Yes! It's big Dixie again. I think Dix Dixie is the best companion. Something here? Oh, there is! Bonus stage! Oh, okay. Okay, this is difficult. Oh no. 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 I was actually about to travel. Hey, I I um I saw a post on I saw a post on uh, Twitter earlier today, um uh, where I think I'm still lagging here. No, a uh, Twitter post about a uh, kind of like a sample model for the unknown god, the unknown god in Genshin Impact. Yeah, we're still talk. We're gonna we're gonna talk about Genshin now. A uh, sample kind of render of what the character character menu screen of the unknown god would look like, and she does look like Kiana from from Honkai Impact. So in in that in that thread in that Twitter thread showing the character the character model for for the unknown god as a playable character, they mentioned Dane Sliff and how they kind of look alike. So like. Um, the unknown god represents Celestia and Dane's Lift represents the Abyss. <laughs> and from there, I, I wonder, hmm, what if, what if, what if the unknown god was future Lumen and Dane's Lift was future Aether? Something like that. But that's, uh, oh! There's, there's an idle animation here. Uh, did you see that? Donkey Kong was playing with the 3DS. I don't know, this is just a kind of a random thing that I thought about because there's just so many mysteries still unanswered. I, I want them to answer it as soon as possible. Balloon! Balloon! No, no, balloon! <laughs> balloon! Where were you, Dixie Kong? Let's try the bonus stage again. Right, we can do this. We can do this. Let's just not move too much. We have plenty of time. Let's we'll move here. Ye All right. Still just a bit more. Come on, come on. The precision. Yes, yes, yes. Right now to actually get that puzzle. Okay. Button inputs are should be so precise that sometimes feels like we're playing a rhythm game. Oh. What's up here? Huh? Ooh, bonus? A puzzle piece. How long is the stage? And that adds, oh, oh no, oh no, oh no, I, we have to be quick! Fish! 
No, I'm getting that G. I am getting that G. Cog. Oh, I missed a letter. Never mind. Get banana coin. Uh, there's no choosing when it comes to Akaido. Yeah, there's always just one Akaido. The one and only. <clears throat> Climb on, the best travel companion ever. I do like that when it shows up while the screen is loading. And I'm pretty sure Paimon was the one who said that. Another boss fight. Let's go. Alright, I'm gonna wait for you guys to decide who do you want me to play this time. Oh, is it the boss fight? I think it's not. Never mind. Although we do actually pick. So who? Do you want Dixie, Cranky, or Diddy Kong? I'll wait for you guys to suggest. Gonna drink water again. Ah. Oh, my back. Alright. Are you guys good with Dixie? Then let's stay with Dixie. Dixie Kong. Although I imagine I'll be dying a few times in this boss fight. It's an owl. Ah, uh, Banana. Mash banana. And they look so offended. What? What were they crushing it for? Okay. Somehow I don't remember this boss fight. I think this is where I ended the my playthrough. Okay. At least now we know how to deal damage. Eee! Like we're playing Angry Birds, but in reverse. What? I missed. <gasps> no. And we have the the cycle restarts. It's a long boss fight. Feathers and then the owl, the elder owl starts laying eggs. Already with grown with the grown owlet. What do you call a small owl? Owlet? Rowlet? Owlet? I think it's Owlet. This time must be accurate. Nice! Can't we just carry? Nope. That's it for the first phase. More. I think we're gonna bonk it. Oh, I, I think we have to make our way up there.
That's impossible! I am too slow for that. Whoops. I don't want to repeat this. Come on. This is a long boss fight. you go come on nice and barrel 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 hurley oh come on the timing is so wrong <gasps> no <gasps> i hit a feather Mother Karunaka is proud. That's enough motivation for me to keep doing this. Although I wonder who. Let's just keep picking Dixie Kong. Yeah, but we're going to be starting all over from the first phase of the boss fight. They're even gonna play the cutscene because we, apparently we haven't seen the banana get mashed enough. We can skip it, right? Ah, oh, we can. Yeah, but we have to start again. From the very beginning. Ah, no! What kind of hitboxes? Alright, alright. Hitboxes. Let's just stick to one. I guess that works. It's gonna carry this one. Yes. You are the chosen one. To bonk your leader. Oui. 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 Last one. Nice. Now we make our way back up. Come on. One. Carry you up. Alright, that's not. No! Egg. I need egg. Oh, come on, my projectile. Oh, there goes that. I'll wait for you to start charging up. Oh no, I have to duck instead of jump. Ah uh, yeah, I figured it out. I don't have to jump. Oh well, there goes Dixie. Come on, the timing is all wrong. Oh, buckle up. I hope you have snacks because we're gonna be here a while. I guess that works. So then we can attack it twice in one cycle. That's good to know. I'm just gonna have to make my way up these platforms. Throw! Nice! Let's try ducking. I think that. No, okay, we can't. We don't. Never mind. I was hesitant. <laughs> Next time I'm gonna duck instead of just jump. Because it doesn't look like we get. We get enough height with the barrels. Dude, oh no, why cranky? I don't like you right now. What good will this do to us? We need... We need to jump. 
<laughs> we need to jump a lot and and hover. Do this again. This is really less than ideal conditions for me. Especially because Cranky Kong straight out murders the birds. If we use the pogo. I wonder, can we pogo off days? I mean, it looks like we can. Uh, that's, I guess, useful. But yeah, in order to pogo off that owl, we need to jump higher. Ah, uh, well, I don't have anything to throw you. Yeah, we can't pogo off the owl. Yeah, I'm sorry I'm getting rid of you, Grandpa. It sounds wrong, though. <gasps> I'm getting rid of you, Grandpa. I don't feel too good about this. gonna go at it alone and all right I'm gonna duck the next time it starts to attack us with its claws I can do this I can do this all right duck all right we're gonna duck we're gonna duck okay so ducking works damn it and ah, I still have to wait for the feathers to to reach at um um hmm 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 the magic of the bananas Just step on here. Oh, we can. But not for long yet. Nope. The platform. Oh no! What? Why are the hitbox so big? Maybe it's possible to hit it twice in a row? No, not really. Unless. We can! It's possible! Interesting! We just have to be precise. So that was a quick phase one. Right, so we can just keep doing that. See what happens when I just take a close look at the surroundings. Sometimes I just have to shut up to get something. <laughs> okay. Next is the feathers. Ah, I still can't get timing right. Okay, now I guess we just have to hover a bit up there. Egg. 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 Mm. 
Nice! And um, there's still gonna be a third phase. Damn it, I thought that was over. It's not. This one we have no safety nets in the form of the barrels. Yes. Oh boy, oh boy. Just wait for them to land. Okay. Patience. Patience is key. Patience is key, my boy. Patience is key. Yeet. Big egg! No! How was I supposed to know it's going to... How did it lay itself? Quadrants again. Eggs. What? No. How? Where did it go? Oh, wait, we still have one more chance to uh, beat it. Just have to wait for the last egg. Okay, not like that. Just have to wait for the last egg. That one. Go, 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 my child. Yes! It's over. Uh. so much for the encouragement, Ecom. Uh, shit. Oh, what the hell? What was that? Uh. Oh, I think my dog, my dog saw something. Right, let's continue. Autumn Heights. A new area. Oh no, this is Autumn Heights. We're going to the next island now. Which is... A jungle on fire. Grassland groove. Play level. Kuroneko, you thought the owl was spinning feathers. Feathers. <laughs> Sometimes it doesn't make sense, these enemies. Ah, oh, the music of this level. I remember the music here. It's so good. Like, well, it feels like we're uh, we're in the setting of the Lion King. Even the trees are dancing. Ah, oh, so good. Ah, oh, okay. Now I get. Now I get it. Dixie. Let's stay stay with Dixie. Oh the music. <gasps> the music heals my soul. But, but not those cactuses. Cactuses? No, that's wrong. Cacti? Is that the plural of cactus? I'm guessing so since adepti and adepti. Yep, cacti. Cactuses. 
sometimes I wonder how I got this far. Oh. There goes Diddy. I am so sorry. A uh, Dixie. It's not just the trees, actually. It's like the entire environment is dancing to the tune of the music. We're just gonna restart the music again. Oh, a life balloon. What? Oh no. Oh no. We're back to our old ways again. But it's like Retro Studios knew that we were going to be dying a lot there. That's why they included a balloon here. So that we can easily restore the life that we lose during this part. Also a heart here. Big red heart. The music is so good. Oops. Something up here? There is a puzzle piece. The puzzle piece. Fall down here. Oh, nice. Those letters actually is a good, are a good indication uh, to tell if we where we are in the level. So the more, the more the uh, the later we are in the level, then that means uh, we should be getting the the latter levels of that the word Kong. So it's uh, K O N G. So four letters. That means each level is divided by a fourth, twenty kind of like. Uh, four areas, four distinct areas, and here we are already. We should be on the, uh, the, tw the, the three fourths, three fourths of the level through. There's N. That means we are on the last part now. Snack. Last one. Nice. We're almost done. <gasps> it's so cool. Oh! <gasps> 
<laughs> it's so cool. <laughs> I don't know why, but I'm so impressed with the level design. Susie Giraffes Kong got it. Baobab Bonanza. Baobab is the name of those trees, those um, stout, big, bulky trees with irregular shapes. Baobab. Why, why can't Nintendo just be extra with the Mario Mario games like this? So many things to do in one level. Oh, and back down here. Oh, anyway, I need this one. Penguin. To open this one. Oh, that's a bonus stage. Ah, here we go again. That's the easier one. Yes! Yes! Oh. Uh, what? No! Oh, no! Oh. Oh. What? What happened? Oh, he hit the owl! You stupid owl! Oh, well, anyway, doesn't matter. We can just restore Dixie here. get up there oh what the hell how many fruits oh, there's so many fruits oh come on okay I can't get up because there's another root up there damn it here Oh, it just propels us up. And... Alright, we're doing good. We're doing good so far. A nice hair! Is that a horn or a hair? Oh, 
Oh, this one. We should have Cranky Kong for this. Hold on. Cranky, Cranky, Cranky. No, not Diddy, damn it. Not Diddy. I misclicked. Uh, but we make do. We make dooby dooby dooba. Perry. I guess it's fine. No, 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 no. Alright, I guess it's fine. The balloon. I missed the balloon. Who, 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 who? What kind of hell is this? Hello? Oh, how? Oh. Where's the Bikusu? Oh, okay. They were stressed for nothing. <sighs> Sin and Milk asks Can I draw? Um, I can, but I can't draw well. I guess. I do draw. I do draw sometimes. Um, but if I don't have any references or anything to base a drawing on, I my drawing is awful. Yeah, but I do draw. And um, speaking of drawing, a reminder again that tomorrow we will be playing Gardic Phone. So, and it's a game that I need to uh, that is played with many, with a lot of people. So, I want you guys to join me play Gardic Phone. Uh, we start at 9 p.m. Philippine Standard Time. That is GMT plus eight. If you, if you guys want to join, that'd be nice. We need a minimum of four people, but ideally, we should be more than ten to get the full, the full, the full features or the full just effect of how humorous Gardic Phone was. We tried Gardic Phone last. When was that? Wednesday? Last Wednesday or Tuesday? Tried it. Um, how many was were we? Four? Oh, there was four of us could try Gardic Phone. It was fun. Creating prompts, figuring out what the drawings are, and also the animating and the animating part. But for tomorrow, I'm thinking to uh, just stick with the normal mode. The normal mode or oh well, let's see. Because the animation part takes too long to get to the results. But the result is interesting. We get to really animate a scene. Okay, here we are in... Yeah, it looks like Cards is so excited for Gardic Phone. I am too. I am too. I really can't. We pl and we planned Gardic Phone last week, right? So yeah, we've been planning this for an entire week. Oh, I can't. Stop. No, I, there, go, no, go, no, tornado, tornado. Oh, okay, just it's just another dick, Diddy Kong. Flaming hot. The, this hedgehog just uh, it's a spontaneous combustion, and it's not even hurt. It's a what? It's a fire type. It's Knuckles instead of Sonic. Wait, is does Knuckles have fire? Firepower? I don't think so. I'm probably misremembering. All right, the Rhino is back. Rhino Sun. A bonus stage. Nice. Oh, almost missed it. The rhino is so overpowered.
What? What the hell? Raiden Shogun is here. She's visiting us. She makes her presence known even in Donkey Kong. This is a teaser for what's to come when update 2.1 rolls in. Yep. Yes. Manifest. Raiden Shogun. We're gonna get her. Everyone who wants to pull for Raiden Shogun. We're gonna get her. Also, Sarakujo. What the? Huh? Huh? Yep. It's just a coin, leave it. Oh, okay, we were supposed to- Rhino, please! Come back! We're supposed to jump! We can't power through the flames! Yes, I know what I'm supposed to be doing, game! N. <gasps> uh, well, there goes everyone. But I'm not liking this. I am not liking this. Raiden Shogun! Tornado carried me to the straight to the pit. Oops. Okay, Rhino again. Do this. And Diddy Kong. Alright, this is the complete package! N oh, Even the Rhino managed to fit itself within that barrel. Go, 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 let's just keep pushing! Push, 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 push! Push! Push, 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 push! What the hell? It's a sandstorm! Yes, 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 go, 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 go. Let's, I don't even have to stop for any of these. Assuming the storm is still trying to... Okay, what happened? Another bonus stage. Okay. Oh, wow. This is much harder. And this is... This kind of looks like that classic Donkey Kong game. Uh, not the original Donkey Kong, something else. Maybe Donkey Kong Jr.? <laughs> it's Dixie Kong this time. so far away mm.
Oh wait, no, we're we gonna do this again? Not sure. Assuming we have- oh, okay, never mind. I forgot to grab. I <laughs> Lots of facepalm moments. I forgot to grab the vine. I'm so sorry, Donkey Kong. I disappoint you. Why do we have Dixie Kong now? We should be safe. How am I supposed to get this? You can do it like that. Please tell me it's over. I mean, we should be at the end of the level now. What? No. <laughs> go, go. Ah, uh, I through. But I couldn't complete the Kong. Oh, I did. Okay, never mind. The puzzle. Oh, I should have done. Should have held on to the vine. This, this could have been the first level that I cleared 100%. But anyway. My back hurts. Three modes. Yep, we did play three modes. Uh, the normal mode, animation, and then... There was one more. I forgot which mode was that. Uh, but it plays kind of similar to the first mode. How uh, was it? The one where we... We imitate. Yeah, we were we we were shown the the drawing of the other players, and we we try to remember it as best as we can, and then we try to imitate. We try to draw the same scene again. Yep, that one. Scene on Mo. You love it when VTubers play games with the fans. Yep, it is very fun. It uh, uh it's also a way to get uh to get to know them more. Into it's uh, kind of like a more personal interaction with the audience. So it is a community. And you saw me with a ponytail. Yep, I do have a ponytail. And so soft too. The first iteration of this ponytail was just a stiff. It was like it doesn't move. But now I um yeah. It's kinda I changed my shampoo and conditioner. Next, uh, hydrate, yes! Yes, Mother Neko, Mother Kuroneko says hydrate, we hydrate. Ah, uh, water. Okay, here we go, Scorch and Torch. Now, look at look at what the humans did to the jungle, to the forest, no, to the savanna. I'm think I'm guessing this is the forest fire brought by the lightning. Okay. Huh? Heart. That's a way to quench the the th the fire. You grab onto these. What are these blueberries? Oh, can't quench that. Oops. Let's see. Be fast. Be fast. Go. 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 Oops, 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 oops. Yay. Hmm? Something fell on my lap. What is that? Is that an insect? <laughs> Did they have to be creepy? Can I stand on these? Oh, not for long. Okay. This 
would be so much easier with Dixie Kong. Looks like we can clear the fire with the water. Yes, that's how water works, apparently. Ah, oh, I forgot. Sometimes the best strategy is to just run. Run on the first cycle. Nope. Nope. Oh no. That works. Oh no, the letter N! The letter N! <laughs> Scorching fire! Touched us. Let's see. Uh, let's go for Cranky. Cranky Kong. Ah, uh, wait. Hold on. We need this one guy. Come on. Never mind. But we need to carry it to throw it on this sack over here. Never mind, never mind. Just rush B. So much fireworks. One up. Mm. Cog. I like the end. Next one. This is Twilight Terror. Twilight Terror. And the fire has subsided, or we just arrived in an area with no fire. For this one, let's pick... I'll stay with Grandpa, with Cranky Kong. Another bonus stage. Just move a bit. Just move a bit. Don't move too much. 
And also take our time. There's no enemy. <sighs> There's no enemy but time. Yeah, time is the only enemy here. We may outlast everything. We can't outlast time. Also, I may want to go for Dixie. Yeah, no. Let's see this as a challenge. Let's stay with Cranky. Huh? What? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. All right. All right. How do I control? Huh? I think I was supposed to stay on the air with B. Never mind Cranky, let's go back to... This is a rocket ship, let's go with Diddy Kong. Let's see. Alright, we have to press B. So, do you remember that... Uh, the, the game Flappy Bird? That's how we play this. We constantly tap B to stay afloat. Or to control our height. A shark! It's Gura! Oh, no, actually, we can just press and hold B. But, yeah, I should not have done that. Oh, the precision! It requires so much precision. This is hard. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Come on. This is fun, though. Though this is hard, this is also fun. Ah, but I don't want to. I don't want to do this again. Oh, there's a portal over there. What the hell was that? Gugu. Gura? One of these? Oh. <laughs> What's the pattern? <laughs> ah, nice. There's something deeper here. Let's check it out. Oh, another portal. What is this? But there's a current. Can we... I wonder if we can... Oh! Oh, this is one of the sharks. It's leaping. Hey, wake up. Can we wake it up? Doesn't look like we can. Let's see. Can we push through? I don't think we can. Can we? Nope. Oh, we can. Nope, we can't. KG huh. Onwards This is Cannon Canyon Cannon Canyon And Diddy is the recommended companion character. Alright then, Diddy. And bonus stage right away, alright. Just gen gonna. If only Mihoyo was this generous with their primo gems.
Right, onwards. Oh, we're to dynamite? Yep, dynamite. Or improvised bombs. I guess we're just letting the level play itself. Alright, okay. Checkpoint, nothing here. Let's go, 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 go. My eye is starting to hurt. game works in mysterious ways. Give me that, watermelon bomb. Another bonus stage. Rush, rush, rush. No, we can't rush it. Ah, yep, and I'm dead. Do this again. Oh, but I wonder, do I need to do... I think I still need to do that. The bonus stage. Hold on. Let's do that real quick. already collected it. Never mind. Take our time. Take our time. Hey. Huh? Okay. So I died here, I wonder why. It's pointing... Oh, okay, we have to... Whoops. That's like a quick time event that's insta-kill if we, we were wrong. Uh... Uh, it's more uh, trial and error. Rather than uh, skill. We have to wait. We have to wait and see where the barrel points at. Do that again. No, 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 yes. No, yes! Alright. What? Yes. Yes. And not too bad. My reaction time is so bad. Shoot! 
no! Oh, I thought it was a guy. Okay, uh, come on. Oh, that was the last part of the stage. <sighs> yep, it's so cool, filled with barrels, barrel cannons. I wonder what's they, what they're called. Barrel cannons, barrel cannons. Uh, it seems like we're up against another boss. Is what I'm guessing. Triple trouble. Triple trouble. <gasps> uh, starting to get sleepy. That was a long day. Uh, let's push through. Let's see how. How far I can get. That is a baboon? A ninja baboon. Because this is a uh, monkey see, monkey hear, monkey do? No, no, that's different. <laughs> um, Alright, but which of these do I have to beat? Or do I have to jump on them? Alright, yeah, I guess. Jump on that. Eliminate, eliminate them. One by one. And target the ones with no hammer. Okay. And then not like that. Not like that. See, I'm a bit confused, but my heart is in the right place. Sonic the Hedgehog. Because of course they do this. Of course they do this. It wouldn't make sense if they didn't. Because we just keep doing it. Right, one down. Two down? No? Oh, it's so confusing. What the hell is, supposed, is that supposed to be? We can grab hold of this. Oh, and we got caught by the AoE. Have to be careful then. But yeah, that's the only thing that we can carry. The watermelon bomb. For some reason. This one. Okay. This one's for you. Hey, what's up? What do you want? Bonk! Bonk! One left. I spoke too soon. Oh, okay. Oh, did the spirits harm us? Damn it! Alright, that works. Yep, we're just gonna keep repeating. Donkey Kong! Oh boy, this is so confusing. We have to wait for this guy to swing. While also paying attention to... Never mind. The bombs and all the other enemies. Ah, oh, that's so difficult. I'm still gonna go with Dixie.
Go again. so hard to catch them oh come on art again art again Dixie! again come on <gasps> here you go No, please. I can't afford to die. I can't. Here, here, here. Yes. Oh, but it's not over. I have to repeat it, I guess, one more time. I oh, know this should be the last one. I have to wait for the watermelon. Oh, good. Damn it. Hurry! Watermelon! Yes! Uh. How many was that? 20? 21! 21. I'd like to see a Donkey Kong game where Mario is the villain. Um. Modern Donkey Kong game, I think, doesn't have that yet, but Donk uh, Donkey Kong Jr., I think that was that was a game where the roles were, were reversed from the first Donkey Kong game, the, the first Donkey Kong arcade game. So in that game, Donkey Kong Jr. was, uh, was uh, trying to save its father. The original Donkey Kong from Mario, if I remember correctly. Although I haven't, I haven't played the game. I just watched video a videos, video essays about that. But I think that's one game. However, a uh, modern, modern Donkey Kong games doesn't have Mario as the enemy yet. Nope, not yet. Ever since Donkey Kong became a good character, a hero character for Nintendo. Yeah, they don't. They uh, Donkey Kong and Mario rarely fought each other again. Deep keep. Oh, it's a water level. Oh, 
Shoom. Never underestimate the strength of Donkey Kong. But weirdly enough, Donkey Kong here is much more fluid. It control it feels like Donkey Kong is much lighter. In Smash Bros, Donkey Kong is one of the heavier characters in the uh, Smash Bros. Let's pick How do I okay. And got attacked right away. No! That was fast. Oh, what's this? A door. To somewhere. And we have no source of air. Does that count? Nope. I need to breathe! Do you know that Raiden is the only playable character that can't cook? As in the cooking mechanic. You can't select Raiden in the cooking mechanic? What? I've I've read tweets and a post teasing Raiden that she can't cook. So So Raiden can't really cook in canon as well. That's interesting. Maybe maybe that's why. Maybe she's just too shy to admit that she can't cook. And so she en she enacted the Sakoku decree. Really? I mean, <gasps> Mihoyo, Mihoyo wants wants us to think that um Raiden is supposed to be the enemy, right? Or the main antagonist, not necessarily the enemy, but the, the antagonist of the Inazuma Arkan quest. But then Mihoyo does this these things to her character that makes it makes her even more likable. It's already hard to it's already hard or difficult to hate to oppose Raiden, and then they they add all these character quirks to her. Um, but I think we're not supposed to, uh, we're not supposed to. Uh, get antagonized by Raiden anymore ever since they released the trailer since I think they want us to sympathize with her sympathize with the Raiden Shogun but having said that I, I'm still wondering what Sarakujo's role in Raiden's life since it, they didn't show us how how and when Raiden and Sarakujo met so, I want answers. I need more answers. Where are we supposed to be going? Oh, okay. We got flushed. Is this? Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! No! Out of the way, fish! Oh, never mind. There's a checkpoint, so it's all right if we get careless. Yep, there was a meme about Raiden not being able to cook. Like she was just too shy. But I wonder, after Raiden Shogun, I wonder what can Mihoyo do to top, to top the next uh, Arkan uh, Arkan God. The next one is in Sumeru, right? The God, the Arkan God of Knowledge. I wonder, I wonder if they can make a simp as hard as we did for Raiden. I'm guessing if they made 
the Natlan Archon God, the Archon God of War, or the Pyro Archon God, Murata. I'm guessing that it's gonna be similar looking to. Huh? Similar in design to. Kimiko Murata from Honkai Impact. Unless uh, they're just alluding to the name, the name Murata. There. Nice. Finally. Ah, oh, but we're not done. Sharp teeth, sharp teeth. Sharp teeth, sharp teeth. What? Ah, timing. Timing. Raiden's voice lines are released. Uh, ah, what were those? The ones with, um, with. About the her, uh, her hobbies and food. Like, uh, Raiden doesn't have any hobbies. She just has. Uh, there are just things that need to be done and things that don't need to be done, like those. Although I haven't heard her speak those voice lines yet. I'm gonna listen to her more in Japanese since I like. I like her. I really like her voice actress, Miyuki Sawashiro. What the hell is this? Oh, it's down here. Something? Got the puzzle piece, just go. Let me be on my merry way. Alright, got it. Go, 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 go. Do they really swim in patterns like this? Hey, here. Uh, 13. Her JP voice actors is erotic, that's true. Miyuki Sawashiro does a good job. High tide ride. Lisa 2.0. Uh, but I think Raiden is. I'm guessing Lisa 2.0 is Yae Miko actually. And Raiden is. I think Raiden is too stoic. Too stoic or serious. Like she's a no nonsense character. Another cart level. Uh, levels like this are usually faster though, but it's also much harder since if we fail, ooh, almost, well not almost, dead. But we have a lot of balloons now so we can die as much as we want. 47 times, or 46. But game overs don't really make much sense anymore since you're just gonna be starting the level right away. I like um, Super Mario uh, Odyssey's implementation of the game over system, where you can't really game over yourself. You just lose coins. 
You lose in-game currency when you die. I guess that's fine enough. Oh, this is so fun. It was penguins managed to construct a roller coaster ride in an island they've only they've only inhabited once uh, one day. One day. Ah, uh, the perspective is confusing. Whee! Uh. What the? I jumped. Venti has a female counterpart in Honkai called Wendy. Really? I didn't know that. As in their design is the same as well as voice actress? I need to check that. And also, um, I'm not sure if I should spoil this, this to you guys, but there is a bit of info that I, I read. Kind of like a theory, a fan theory that draws similarities between the, the relationship of Kiana and <gasps> what the hell was that? That draws um, draws similarities between the relationship of Kiana and Himeko Murata and Kazuha and Beido. So just by saying that, I think you're gonna get a clue on what I'm, what I, where I'm getting at. Since um, well, I don't really know much about the characters of Honkai. But I do know an important plot point that happened in Honkai Impact that changed the the changed the characters, and then a permanent change in the story. So anyway, uh, they drew similarities between what the hell was that? They drew similarities between those uh, pairs of characters, Kiana and Mur Kiana and Himiko. And then it's Kazuha and Beido. And based on one scene from the update 2.1 livestream, wherein Kazuha and Raiden Shogun were locked in a duel, they clashed swords. There were, there's a, spe a fan speculation that Beido might, or we might get our first actual death in Genshin Impact. I know this is bad. Um, okay. We sh it should still be streaming. So please tell me on chat if the stream is still active and it didn't, it didn't uh, close because the laptop that I'm using to check on YouTube Studio. Alright, wait, uh, hold on. I'm gonna pause here and get my charger because the laptop that I'm using to check the live stream uh, shut down it's not charging so the battery ran out I'm gonna get the the charger see if but I hope the stream didn't end this is bad Hold on. Here we are. Always keep your devices charged, please. It's never a good idea to fully run out of juice. Okay. Oh wait, no. It just went to sleep because ah, uh, it just went to sleep. It turns out it still have battery. Oh, is it? Oh, it's still streaming. Yep, I'm good. Murata has the same Japanese voice actress as Lisa. Hmm. Um, let me remember the voice. I, I can't remember because 
Wait a minute. Well, I can still access Murata's, uh, no, Lisa's voice lines in Japanese, but the bulk of the story where, where Lisa, Lisa had her voice lines, I played in English. That's why I can't, I can't remember much. And... Characters dying canonically in gacha game. This is GFL all over again. What is GFL? GFL. Is that also a gacha game? GFL. Game. The first time I heard of it. Girls Frontline. Oh, is this about the uh, girls based on guns? I'm not sure though. By the way, back to the game. I really kind of do want to... No, something crucial to the story to happen that um, forces the characters to change. So, the way... The way Kiana changed during that important, important event that happened in Honkai. But yeah, anyway, I'm only basing my knowledge... My knowledge uh, about Honkai is based on the animated shorts that I've watched on YouTube. So good. Really good. I want an anime about Honkai actually. Honkai or Genshin? Anyway, here we go. We're still here, Donkey Kong. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yep. Girls' frontline is depressing as F. Really? A gacha game? If someone dies, Genshin, please be an NPC. Mm, I wonder who. I should not have jumped. I should not have jumped there. But I wonder, which ouch, which NPC means the most- That is so fast paced, I can't react that fast. Which NPC has, um... Has a relationship to any of the main characters or to any of the playable characters that would merit change when they die. Ah! What the hell? It's it's trial and error. It's trial and error unless unless you can you can predict. The layout of the platforms or you can react fast. They don't react that fast, I'm sorry to say. Let's do this again. Lane switch, lane switch. Oh, come on. That was a checkpoint. It means we're still far from over. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. And they really don't want us to progress. Those penguins. So distracting. Kazari. Uh, uh, uh. Oh yeah, Kazari. Oh no, Kazari. <laughs> I remember Kazari again. Uh, such a great NPC. Yeah, I did say Nang. She is the best NPC that we've met. Kazari. Who else? NPC. Technically, Alice is still an NPC. Although, she does. She is related to Klee. She's Klee's mother. But we. She's. She hasn't shown her face yet. She hasn't appeared yet. Uh, though, there was. Um, there was an event where she's one of the vocal characters. But technically, since Alice is still not a playable character, she is an NPC. Same with Baizu, Baizu, um, Chi Chi's employer, and the Boo Boo Pharmacy. Mm. 
another water level. Whoa, it's so cool! It's a silhouette! I think I haven't I haven't reached this um I haven't reached this game this part of the game yet. It's a silhouette! What is this? A Metroid? Looks like a Metroid. No, it's a jellyfish. Which might as well be a Metroid, I guess. Oh, bananas. Oh boy, this is a, this is such a visually stunning game. Retro Studios really went the extra mile when they de when they developed this. Uh, having said that, where am I supposed to go? Oh, who? <gasps> what the hell? <gasps> it's okay. It's so scary. A buffer fish. It's not chasing after us, is it? I guess not. Alright, checkpoint. Nice. We this is the bonus stage. <sighs> no, no, no. Almost, almost. Nice. Oh, oh, it stinks. I, st I thought sea anemone were supposed to be friendly. Look at those seahorses in the background. It's so detailed. Oh, god damn it. What the hell? It's like an entire city here. Oh, is it is that a robot? Boy, it's so good. <laughs> it looks so good. How did they manage that? I ended up liking a water level. I take back what I said. I hate this. Hydration. The water does remind me of what? Uh, the seawater reminds me of drinkable water. You know that Kitsune Saigu is featured in Raiden's teaser. That is one of her friends, right? Kitsune Saigu. Um, the the white-haired, the white-haired, the short white-haired. Friend, the last one to go during the cutscene. Was it that one or was it the second one? Yeah. All her friends. But um what was that? What did they say? Only the first one died. The second one bit uh, the second one kind of betrayed Raiden. And the third one disappeared. Something like that. Please correct me if I'm wrong. But yeah, I think that's that's my idea of it. That's how I remember it. Um, what I didn't get was the person, the person, Raiden Shogun saw when all her three friends disappeared. So there was a lady. There was yeah, one more lady wearing a kimono and I think holding a parasol, standing, standing, and her back turned. Now I'm wondering, is that a different character or is that? Raiden Shogun, is that who Raiden Shogun was supposed to be if she didn't lose her friends? So that happy, that, that timeline 
where the heartbreak didn't occur. Back here. Avoid the sea anemone. Is it anemone or anemone? Because finding Nemo might be misleading. Robot again. These guys really look like, do look like Metroids. And I guess I'd be fine with that since Retro did also develop the Metroid Prime series. Oh, we had to open it. Ah, never mind. Go, 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 go. Speed, speed, speed. Nice. Ah. Diddy. Nice. Nice. Nice! Puzzle piece over here. Nice! Oh, I have to follow this. Okay, hurry! How are those fishes okay? But I'm not. I get stung by the anemone. Anemone? Anemone? An an anemone? Clutch, 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 clutch. Buffer fish. Gee. Ah. Ah. <gasps> Life. As soon as Saigu sacrificed herself in her memories created Kazari. Oh yeah, I do remember that part in uh, the Secret Sakura Cleansing Ritual. So that's how... Yeah, Mihoyo never explicitly uh, states it. It's up to us to piece together the story. But I, I think it's nice. But there's a uh, great attention to detail. There must be a great attention to detail to get all of that. And plus, I think I skipped most of the dialogue during the Sacred Sakura Cleansing Ritual. Irate 8. Oh, is this a boss fight already? I oh, know, not yet. There we go. Irate 8. Oops, what are bombs? Yep. And it looks like Samus in morph ball form. Get Dixie gone. Huh? What's this? A balloon. No! No! Ah! The hitbox is so big! Ooh. 
<laughs> oh, I get it. Eight, because it's an octopus. Jesus, that's so creepy. I'm not ready for this kind of commitment. I don't I don't want you. Please. This is so stressful. I can't handle this. Stop looking at me. Well, there it goes. Never mind. Uh, things are just happening apparently, and I'm not following. Stop that! Just wriggle your tentacle then. Eee. Uh. Yep. I'm just right over here. This isn't even a boss fight. This is just a boss avoidance. Oh great, he's back. Huh, someone texted me again. Stop. Yeah, they weren't joking when they said this was a challenging 2D platformer. My fingers are getting a workout. Alright, almost there to the surface. <gasps> yes! Okay, we need to break it. There. Oh. 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 Is Yai sus? I don't think so. Well, I'm only. Then again, I'm only basing on that scene where she wakes up. I assume traveler when she goes. Repeat after me. One, two, three. Three, two, one. I mean, she's so cute there. The first scene that we got from Yaimiko, I thought she was serious, but then we got that kind of teasing. It reminds me, it really reminded me of Lisa. I wonder, is she keeping anything? Hmm. Guess we'll learn more. But uh, no, I think Yaimiko is good. Her alignment is good. Or rather, neutral. There's, she doesn't seem to be aligned with. Uh, the Raiden Shogun, nor is she aligned with um, the the Resistance, the Sanginamiya resist Resistance. C stack attack. Bombs. Hmm. Yep. Oop. Banana! 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 Ouch! It spanked me! One more time! I'm a, uh, can I dodge it like this? I think we get... That thing spanked me! Mm. 
And also Donkey Kong's body feels so heavy. Like when he jumped, there's little margin to reposition ourselves. It's big Dixie Kong again. Ouch! Keep spanking us. Oops, wrong. I chose poorly. Ah. Ah. Nothing, nothing is working my way today. Alright, I have to pick up those bombs. It. <gasps> again, again. Here we can restore our the the life that we lose right away. Mm. Bottom, I'm back to being bottom left. Oh, come on. At least just give Donkey Kong. He's supposed. He's. By the way, what is Donkey Kong? An ape or. A gorilla? I, I can't tell, but anyway, Donkey Kong should be. Should be able to at least hold on to a ledge. Because he's supposed to be strong. Yes. Yes. Oh, well, whatever works. Whatever works. I'm not even sure anymore. Yes. <sighs> Eleven. That was fast. That was fast level. And we got Kong. Donkey Kong is a gorilla. So, but what is King Kong? Is King Kong also a gorilla? Since that's where the name came, right? Oh, no, not back here. Get back up there. Over here. Another boss fight. Current capers. No, just please don't be underwater. The controls, even if I like the underwater levels, it still, uh, still requires immense precision. Oh no wait, it's not a boss fight. Really? Okay then. Come on, come on. Can't you just be much faster than that? What is this?
Hmm? Oh, yeah, sure. Sure, just go towards me then. This music reminds me of that uh, one channel in... I think they use uh, Donkey Kong Country music. Donkey Kong Country music. No, Donkey K music featured in uh, Donkey Kong Country. The first... Yes, this is! This is it! I remember! I forgot the name of the channel, but there's this one channel on YouTube and... It started to trend when one of its videos kind of became a save point for viewers. Like a save point on the internet. I forgot the name of the channel, but that channel hasn't been posting for... At the time when, it, when the videos became viral. They haven't been posting for four years. But uh, one of their videos started to get viral. And it is, um, it is a video featuring this very background music. Nope, not Silver Gunner. Different. It has three sevens in the channel name. Was it? Uh, I'm kind of curious now. Hold on. I think I'm, subs I'm still subscribed to them. Uh, what was that? Uh, I can't find it. I'm just gonna use Google Foo here, so Donkey Kong. Ah, here it is! The internet checkpoint. I think I'm getting close, hold on. Uh, just a little more. Because I can't. I'm not gonna stop thinking about this. Internet checkpoint. Donkey Kong. I got it! Taya! Taya 777. So one of their videos. I got it. Yep. Let me. Yep. And it's on Reddit as well. The internet checkpoint. Taya 777. It's uh, Taya 777. I wonder if their channel is still active. Yeah, but I really enjoyed one of their uh, one of the music, and it, it's this very same soundtrack. I'm guessing. It reminded me of it. It's that one. I'll check it out again after the stream. What's up here? Banana. Oh no, I don't like this. Again, the current is so fast. But we don't necessarily have to collect every everything we see. I just Focus on surviving is what I'm supposed to be saying, but I got hit. Go, 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 go. The internet checkpoint. I think that's a pretty cool video. And when when uh, YouTubers kind of like flock to a video and then do something, something else rather than just watch it. Like create a community out of it. It seems so cool. Like um, there's also one, I think it's the shelter. The shelter music video posted on uh I'm not sure if it was in Porter Robinson or Madian's uh, YouTube channel but there was one guy there that sort of used the comment section as their own journal and posting there every day for I think two years straight and they're still posting they're just kind of like documenting 
their progress or their daily life. Details of their lives. Pretty cool, actually. Nice! in the wind yes 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 precision precision huh hey what is this Indiana Jones and the temple is falling apart what did we take They make it look like it's simple, alright? Let's see how how am I supposed to approach this? Like that. No, uh, come on! Why? It's so hard! No! I was right there! The current took me. The current took me. I'm gonna start all over again. From this area. Ah, go on, just use the iframes. Damage boost. Damage boost again. I'm so sorry, Dixie Kong. But this area is also extra difficult as well. No, alright. Damage boost. Oh, wait, I can't linger in this place for too long since the ceiling is also collapsing. Two months ago. What's that about two months ago? Oh! Was their channel uh, terminated? Hold on, I'm kinda interested in seeing Taya77 now. Here he is, Taya77. 777. Oh, they posted a new one! Two years ago, uh, two months ago. I haven't checked this yet. Ah yeah, they did delete some of the videos. The video that I was talking about. The one with Donkey Kong, it's gone. But that's disappointing. I kind of like, I kind of want to go back there and read the comments. Ah, uh, it's ah, uh, that's disappointing. Why did they delete it? It's in, it's almost, it's almost an internet phenomenon at this point for Taya seven seven seven. That's too bad. There's a channel that tried to archive some of the vids, mm. but the meaning are yeah the meaning behind those videos is kind of lost without the comment section. That's where all the stories are posted, unless they also archive that part, or maybe the Wayback Machine has it. Hmm. That's that's a bit sad. Like part of in internet history is gone. That was a really. I want which. Uh, what year was that again? Around 2018 or 2019, when I started reading about uh, the the internet checkpoint. It was a really cool thing that the internet did. Ah, oh, come on! Damage boost. Damage boost. There is no hope for me. How? The the hitbox is so big. Yeah, I get Donkey Kong is big, but not that big. Let's keep going. This is the place. Alright, just go guns a blazing. Never mind. I can't 
There! Damn it! Finally! Oh, there is a, an archive channel. So at least the videos are intact. Now just the comments section. Boss fight. Fugu face off. Fugu. Fugu is the puffer fish, right? The the bloat fish. Yep, Fugu. That is the Fugu. That is also a delicacy in Japan, wherein the preparation has to be really specific, and it needs to be prepared by a a train a chef trained specifically to prepare Fugu. Because if prepared incorrectly, it might be lethal to the person eating the fugu. So it should be a puffer fish here. And oh, whoop de doo we're playing underwater! That means we have to mine the, our oxygen. Wow. I don't know how to handle this. Who? Oh. Alright, it seems like I know its weakness. It's the bottom. But we have to time it right. Like, no, not like that. This is so hard, damn it. Alright, well, well, it's dizzy. We can hit this part. Yeah. Easier said than done, though. Easier said than done. And there goes Dixie Kong. Right. Come on. No, 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 no. If I'm daring, I can just hit it right like this. Nope, never mind. It's risky to do that. So just wait for this guy, for Fugu here, to get dizzy. And rotate, 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 hit. Like that. Uh, it is just so hard to float. Come on! <laughs> I don't know why, but Kirby looks so cute doing that air intake. Ah, I'm dead. Uh, uh. It doesn't matter who we get here. I'm guessing Diddy is better, since Diddy has the rocket ship. And it can propel us a bit. A bit. Uh, to the direction that we choose. Do this again. <laughs> yep, just for a bit. Then... I don't want to risk this. Or maybe we can. Ah, oh, no. No, we can't. We have. We really have to wait for it to finish. God damn it! We finish spinning. What the hell? What? What? I can't make sense of this. Oh, oh, we can do that. Interesting. A lot of ways to deal damage to the to the boss. That does not make it any easier though.
<laughs> Billiards. Nice. Collision course. Nice. One more. Never mind. Never mind. Go, 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 go. Wait for it to get dizzy and then. It's not yet dizzy. Heart, heart, heart. No, please, no. 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 Uh, thank you, cards. I'm gonna do my best. Let's pick Diddy again. Dizzy, just be careful. Chug. I poke you. Nice. Just have to keep doing that then. Okay. Why are we even fighting this guy? Doesn't seem like they. I know, yeah. They are affiliated with the, those penguins. And, um, they seem to be wearing an apron featuring the icon. Damn it. There. You like that? Oh, come on. Oh, another one. No. Ah. <laughs> uh. Please let this be the last face. <laughs> no. No! Heart! 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 It's filling half of the screen. I'm not exactly sure how I'm supposed to survive. <laughs> Damn it! Ah. Ah. I'm gonna drink water. Uh, do this again. I'm gonna do this again. This is only the fourth boss fight. I'm already tired of no I'm seeing its face. this I hate this yeah oh, oh, oh get the heart where's the heart it's gone no oh, 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 oh. <gasps> guess I'll die then Provide me with hearts, please. I'm gonna drown. Okay, okay, okay. Yes, like that. 
That wasn't so hard. I just have to do it, what, like three or four more times. There's one. I'm so sick and tired of seeing this guy's face. What? Come on! Charge! No! Why is it so hard to control? Oh shoot! 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 Not again! That's a good time to be dizzy. Yes! Yes! <laughs> I am mashing the b -b 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 buttons! Alright, again with this. It stops midway, alright. So I don't have to go to the bottom. I have to go to the top. Pain! You have a knack to laugh at me? No. Oh. Uh, the asshole was laughing at me. I hate this. I hate this. What? We can do this with Cranky Kong? Oh. Right? I wanna pop it with a toothpick. Again! <laughs> Good! Good! But that's just the start of our suffering. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Tired of this. Right, graceful in the water. Float like a butterfly, sting like a bee. Now this one again. At least I still have Grandpa with me. Oh no, it's still not. Yeah, it's gonna fill the screen. <laughs> have his eyes. <laughs> oh come on! It's laughing at me. You're you're laughing. You're laughing. I'm in complete pain, and you're laughing. Let's just see how this will play out. Oh 
damn it! So annoying. No! Oh. We started with 50 lives. I just... I don't know who to take anymore. My stomach hurts. I'm not worried about this part anymore, at least, but it takes so long to get to that last one. Target this. Yes! And keep going. Yes! That should make it faster, right? Alright, we skipped we skipped a phase. Uh we skipped a cycle. Now I'm just gonna fill up that halfway through again. Why does it have to be so precise? Underwater as well. Oh no 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 that's wrong that's wrong. We go here. Bottom. We have to be Oh damn it! Stop laughing! No! It was so fast! Oh wait, wait, we still have a chance. Still have a chance. It's just one hit away. Hey! It's one hit away. Come on. Yes, 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 yes! Yes! It's not over! It's not over yet! It's not over yet! Why must we suffer? Yes! Come here! Yes! God! Oh, god, god, god! No! I forgot the button mash. Uh, that's what I'm done! I'm done! Goddamn buffer fish. Fugu. Uh, where will this take us? I wonder how many worlds left. Oh, whoa. Poison. A swamp? Harvest hazards. Ah, but I'm done here. <laughs> I'm done here. Let's. Summary. Harvest hazards. I wonder how many worlds are left. How many islands are left. I'm killing three more? Eight? Because eight islands or eight worlds, that's usually the number. Eight or seven or eight in Mario. But it's over. I'm done here. Let's continue this next week. Or I'm not sure. So that's it for 
For today's uh, Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze, I hate this game. I'm just kidding, I like it. But the boss fights, the boss fights. Go over here. <gasps> Let's switch over. Alright, so how are you guys holding up? How was the how was your week? It's finally the weekend again. Yes, got him, we got it. After how many tries was that? Six or seven tries? We got it. We got it. Thank goodness. Uh It's finally over. I'm just gonna scroll through chat again, just in case I missed any messages. So, um... Thank you uh, so much, everyone. Uh, to Koroneko, to Mizuki, to Winter Kira, to Cards, to Hikab, Nobler Praetorian, thank you as well. And... Who else? To... Was my here? Did my... Did my... Uh, watch the stream and comment, or maybe she they lurked. So, yeah, thank you, thank you to all of those who lurked as well who didn't uh chat. So, I don't know who you are, but thank you for watching to the lurkers and don't be shy to comment. We're all nice here. And, um, who else? We did have someone new today. It's Sinon, Sinon Mo, Sinon Mo, and they ask if I can draw. Yep. I can. I can draw. I can't draw well. Yay. It's been a casual week. So, it's not, not, not the best, not the worst kind of week. It's a casual week. So, that's still good. Normal. Normal is what we always hope for. Ah, uh, thank you cards. Yeah, that was... That was... That was a difficult boss fight. And it's only gonna get worse from here on out. Uh, but as long as we're done with the underwater levels, I think I can manage. I just... I don't... I hate underwater levels. Although they... Mo most of the times, under underwater levels have the best soundtracks. I just don't... I just really don't like the gameplay. Gun Gale Online Hiccup. Yep. That is their name though. Sinon. Sinon Mo. Or Sinon M.O. From, 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 uh, GGO. Kuroneko's week has been meh. Meh. Really? I think, um, basing on, uh, Discord, you've been really busy this week. Yep, our mother Kuroneko. Doing a lot, especially with, um, their academics, the Discord server, and also her channel. Yeah, Kuroneko. Mother Kuroneko is also a VTuber. Is King K. Rule the final boss? Uh, you know what? I haven't, I haven't thought about King K. Rule yet since the the main antagonists here are the penguins. The penguins who came from Wonder Witch Antarctica, the Arctic. Wait a minute. Someone told you before. Someone, some of you told me before that penguins only existed in in either the Arctic or the Antarctic, but not both. I I kind of forgot which of you told me that. Yeah, but that was a revelation to me. I didn't know. I thought I thought if it was a cold a cold climate, penguins are there. So it's either the Arctic or the Antarctic, or the penguins are. I'm guessing the Antarctic? Antarctica? Maybe? I'm not sure. I I failed geology. If that's even where the, it's taught. But I'm guessing since King K. Rool is um, Donkey Kong's arch nemesis. The, the alligator. Uh, was it an alligator or a crocodile? K. Rool. Crocodile? Maybe. Who else? Who else? E cub as well. Oh, did, uh, did I already call you? It's like a, I'm a teacher. Um, checking roll call, checking the attendance. 
yeah but still thank you so much again for always being here and accompanying me with my gameplay and um yeah i started a new game finally and this will be a series i won't i won't stop until i finish this but i i actually have started several games that i haven't finished yet and um the aforementioned super mario 64 and uh scott pilgrim versus the world the game i haven't finished that that yet and actually it's one of my streams that racked up a lot of views and i haven't finished it yet present sir yeah good present sir Teacher Akai. Teacher Akai. That sounds cool though. Teacher Akai. Yeah. Actually, I want to teach. I just don't like the paperwork associated with teaching. I don't like calculating grades. I just want to teach. Yeah. But it doesn't really work out for me since sometimes I get lost a lot. I get lost in my train of thought. Anyway, Kuroneko is not present. And yet she's here. Hmm, kind of sus. So we uh, I really did suffer through that last part of the game. Akai Sensei. Akai Sensei. What oh, sounds? Akai Sensei. Akai Sensei. Hmm. It rolls off well. Akai Sensei. Susi Baka. Present but not present. Present but in the past. Yeah, they're here, but they exist in the past. Oh, that's cool. Key Scouts. Yeah, you are the one, cards. You're the one who told me that. To. What is the Filipino for keys and cow? You want me to cosplay a professor? A teacher? Hmm. But uh, what would what would the teacher's uniform look like? Hmm. And I sometimes I feel to uh separate or fail to notice the distinction between an off a regular office shirt and the uniform of a teacher because sometimes sometimes yeah cards you fooled me you fooled me glasses and white sleeves glasses yeah glasses is cool and maybe carrying accessories like a ruler or a pointing device no but back then the the thing that we associated with teachers the most is a chalk he has a chalk weirdly enough a chalk and a whiteboard marker and an eraser yes an eraser sometimes they yeah they do they do especially in public schools in private schools usually they have a uniform but in public schools I I guess they do, but yeah, it's not not really noticeable or not not memorable. Hmm, I wonder. Chalk, you will sneeze. Oh, you're you're allergic to dust. Yeah, me too. Uh, but when when I get exposed to dust, I immediately get a runny nose. Yep, runny nose. It's so difficult to get rid of. Public schools have uniforms since it's government mandated. Ah, uh, yeah, they do, but they're they're not that memorable to me. Maybe because they look, they all look the same. It's either uh, it's also color coded, right? Color coded to the day, to the day. Usually, it's um. The top matches the bottom. I think the the color that I remember the most is the the blue. Yeah, I specifically remember that blue. And there are patterns to patterns on the shirt, and also the yellow, the yellow colored, um, the yellow colored uniform. Cool. 
cards have? You have chalkboard in your room. Blue and black pants. Ah, that's the one. With uh, patterns, like kind of a rectangular patterns. Oh no, it's a rectangle, and within that rectangle, there are patterns. Blue t shirt and black pants. But yeah. Yeah, but actually, it's. Now that I've thought about it, it's been a while since I saw a teacher out in public because there are no classes. It's weird too. It's one of those, th those uh, thoughts where it's you think it's normal, but when you start to think about it, yeah. It has been quite a while since I saw students and teachers roaming out in public. It's how many, how many, how many, I wonder how well maintained the classrooms are now. T-shirt and black plants. Black pants. Beige or peach. Beige or peach. Oh yeah, yeah, that's the color. Not, not yellow, not yellow. Beige or peach. Blade styled suits, red, red necktie, and glasses. Back in my days, we used to go outside and commute to school daily. Yeah, there's going to be an entire generation, probably of element, at least uh, students, elementary students or kinder, who who'd, who'd never got to experience face to face classes. Because, um, yeah, maybe not an entire generation, but a big chunk of their their um, academic life is spent homeschooling is spent homeschooled especially the ones who started in grade 1 grade 1 being homeschooled as you think the transition would be difficult for that to uh, study at the comfort of their own home and then once we get to the new normal the so-called new normal they're gonna be attending school back in classes. Back in school. They're gonna be attending classes back in school. Yes. The teacher stereotype. So many students. Alright. So, you guys, uh, get ready for tomorrow's Gardic phone stream. Yeah, I'm still writing prompts, actually. I haven't come, I haven't come up with enough enough prompts to last for well i'm gonna play as long as you guys want to play so maybe around two hours i don't want to keep you guys for too long since you probably have plans for saturday so um, as long as you guys want to keep playing then yeah sure let's do it what subject would i be teaching hmm i hmm. I'm, I'm really not good at anything Let's see... Um... Literature? I do like reading, but I don't like analyzing what I read. I wonder what else. Mmm... I think I'd much rather be a teaching assistant. A teacher assistant. I'll wing it tomorrow, yep. Sometimes when things aren't planned and you wing it, it tends to go better than when you planned it. Because when you plan something, sometimes you get stressed out to follow, to follow what you've planned. To follow kind of like a script. And then you make more mistakes. When you wing it, yeah, you're just doing your best and roll with it. You're gonna do another group presentation and that, that teacher seemed to like presentations a lot. That's going to be how they teach the entire course for the for the rest of the semester then yeah, some teachers are like those they teach better by letting the student uh learn the lesson and then just teaching the parts that they don't they, they don't cover in their reporting yeah some teachers are like that so self-learning they they encourage self-learning and just guide them when they're confused about something but another presentation so fast Then it leads to a burnout. So what do? Uh, maybe astronomy? I did, I did read a lot of astronomy books. 
Although just basic astronomy now, I do like reading about the stars way back then. I had a lot of um, books about ast astronomy. The planets, the stars, constellations. That's, yeah, unfortunately that's how, that's what college really is like. It's more self-learning than actual teaching on the instructor's part. That's why whenever the professor or the instructor says if the class has any question, you really, really should ask. Or just take advantage of their consultation hours. You... You have two subjects and that teacher. Oh, it's a different subject for the same teacher. Ah. <coughs> two subjects for the same teacher. I guess, I'm guessing the advantage, the silver lining here is that um, neither of those subjects will surprise you anymore. So if you, if you... If you take an exam on one subject, then most likely the format of the other subject will be the same. So you can prepare for that. Yeah, but I don't see that much as a silver lining. That summarizes the whole semester lessons. The thing that summarizes the whole semester lessons. Um, a syllabus? That's basing on the syllabus? Exam on the same day. You're really gonna get, after the the semester or before the semester is almost over. You're gonna get tired of seeing that professor. So yeah, they're just gonna give you the syllabus, and it's up to you to read up on the topics, which is yeah difficult, difficult. Especially since if it's up to you what you learn or what you read then it's hard to predict what the professor is going to put on the exam or on the quiz unless they point it out themselves usually even in college they should give pointers they should give pointers or a covered topics for a particular quiz or uh, an exam so that the student will have more time to prepare it's difficult to just read up on a topic and then expect everything to show up the exam it has to be focused well it has to it should be but uh different prof professors yeah different professors approach teaching differently just sometimes um you get a professor uh, you get an instructor passionate about teaching and then sometimes you get a Professor just making the bare minimum, doing the bare minimum. And usually sometimes, usually sometimes, sometimes the professors who do the bare minimum are those who are busy with other things, other academic matters. They focus on that matter and then when they teach, they just cover the topics or let the student learn and then just advise on what they don't know about, on what they're confused about. Because um, professors also do research while while teaching. That's how that's how they spend time in the academe, teaching the school year. Everything we will do is obviously the module we are doing. We will do tests on the next meeting. That is that is very unencouraging discouraging unencouraging i'm making up my own words that's very discouraging if that's what your professor says like it's really up to you to command the ship rather than the teacher directing it that's gonna be a lot of reading on your part how do you do group activities then for us if we have group activities usually they give us um it's more on project so more on output rather than reporting like they teach us and then they we make something like wow i just came to a realization 
So when we did group projects back then, it was usually after a lesson it is taught. And then we make something. We make something out of the lesson, like say an illustration or a poster or sometimes we sometimes we repeat the lesson in the way we understood so it turns out it feels like we're making a teaching materials for the teacher well the, granted they did test out how we understood the lesson but our output for the projects or for the group works it feels like we did make teaching materials for the professor i only came to that realization now whoa No more college events. Yeah, usually college are good for socialization. And also finding your... Uh, a college organization, a frat or a sorority. But usually orgs. Orgs. Orgs are fun. But that said, I didn't join any orgs. Nope, I did not. For no college events yep but it'll be a bit boring to have no events i granted i i, I didn't i didn't join any events either but it was fun watching it was fun watching the events rather than being part of them <laughs> go home club There's a different feeling when you're in the when you're in the event, when you're in the venue. Feels like you're encouraged to spend more just to participate. Yep, food especially. Because you get the you get the festive feeling and you want to join in on the fun. Food especially. When we had events back then, the most uh, popular food stalls were takoyaki. Takoyaki, sweet corn, um, chicken skin. God, I love chicken skin. Um, what else? Uh, yeah, just those. I wonder what else. I forgot. But those were the most memorable. Ah, shawarma. Yes, shawarma. Mix nuts. Biggest pro is no classes because the classroom is being used for the event. Yep. They're usually just assignments. But um uh the kinder professors sometimes are lenient. They give they give the time free. It's a free period, so just do whatever you want. And we'll continue next week with the lessons. Yeah, some professors are forgiving that way. Chicken and mojo. Chicken and mojo. Or fries. Mojo. Yeah, mojo. The potatoes. Potato. Potato. Flat potatoes. Or fries. Especially in, um. What was that called? Potato corner. Yes. Potato corner. Sweet and sour. Yum. Yum. The only thing I didn't. I don't like. Uh, about potatoes and fries is that when they get cold they also get hard and are chewy or starchy I don't know how to put it but it doesn't taste as good as when they're when they just came out of the f uh, deep fryer the eating contest eating contest yeah, free food. You get to stuff yourself with free food. Oh no, there's a registration fee, but there's usually a very small amount compared to the food that you're going to eat. Food eating contest. I, I bore witness to a food eating contest. Yeah, way back then. It was kind of like a series of food. So I think it was four rounds. Three or four rounds, and I'm not sure how they did it. How the, how the, the winners did it because the first part were 
carbs. Lots of carbs. So noodles, bread, and an entire 1.5 ml of juice. They needed to finish that. That was just the first round. The second round was fried food. Fried food. So fried chicken. Um, I think there were also eggs. What else? Fried chicken, fried eggs, and um, there's a, there's something this uh, fried as well. They call it proven. So proven. I'm not sure what it is, but proven. So yeah. Isao. Yes, those. That was second round. Third round, I kind of forgot what they ate. But in the fourth round, the last round, they just as a group or individually, they had to chug. You know the big carton of chucky. Chucky, the, the chocolate milk drink, they had to chug that, and it's cold. So imagine your stomach full with food, and you had to chug that last. Yeah, just thinking about it makes, ugh, makes me gurgle. Spicy. Oh yeah, yeah, they did have spicy noodle as well. But they could when you're, I think when your adrenaline is pumping that you want to eat it as fast as you can. Maybe they tend to forget that this that the noodle was spicy. Pay my stall. Pay my stall for what? During college events for some reason. For registration? For pay my? Although pay my is handy. Cheese sticks. Popcorn. Food stalls, so many food stalls. Yeah, all those specialty foods that don't you, you don't usually found you don't you, you don't usually find um on regular days. They just suddenly appear during campus events. Not promoting. Yeah, but Paymaya is good. I like Paymaya and Gcash. But more so Paymaya because I don't know why, but I haven't unlocked my online debit yet on Gcash. On Paymaya, I got it instantly. I use I just use that for online payments and PayPal. Paymaya. It's a really handy a digital wallet. Uh, oh yeah, quick quick. Yeah, that's one. Quick quick. Quick quick. And barbecues. Coffee mon. It's coffee and lemon. Is it coffee black and lemon? I think that's a thing. It's uh, it adds acidity to the coffee. But I can't imagine coffee black and then lemon. Uh, but I, I can't imagine coffee with creamer as well with lemon. I'm guessing it's coffee black. Coffee mon. Buko shake. Yep, buko shake. Especially buko sh No, not shake. Uh, buko juice. Straight from the husk. They just cut it there. Give you... Give you the... Give you the, the husk. The coconut husk. The coconut husk. No, the coconut. The shell. Give it to you. Even the meat is still there. It seems like he cub is still... I'm guessing he cub is still asking about that coffee mon. Buko shake <laughs> makes you come because it's uh, there's still particles floating. Coffee black and lemon. I guess that that's a thing, but I haven't tried it yet, and I don't think I want to. I used to like coffee black. Um, especially the McDonald's one, the coffee black of McDonald's without the sugar and creamer. It's so strong, at least for me. I did like it, but I kind of grew out of the taste. I don't like I don't like them bitter anymore. Right? It's bitter and it's... I'm guessing sour since lemon is sour. But what would it taste like? Especially... Yeah, I can't imagine too. Pokemon merch just showed up. Coffee mon. Coffee and lemon. I wonder... It tastes weird, but it keeps you wanting more. 
Hmm. Very sus. There might be some other ingredients there. There might be MSG. Coffee mod. There was a stall back during one campus event where they were serving free, free cups of Kaping Barako straight from Batangas. But there was a catch. You get to drink the coffee for free. Yes? But then they, they, they're gonna let you sit down and talk to you about their religious organization which I'm, I'm not gonna name so I guess it was kind of misleading but they were kind they were kind enough to, to yeah they, saw, just, they just talked about us and they, they were kind of leading us on to joining them but we we just said that we were there for we were only there for the coffee and then promptly left They did it seven years ago. So is the preparation different, or can you just uh, brew a black brew a black coffee and then squeeze lemon on it, or is there did they do something else? You'll try it out. Coffee and lemon. Seven years. When was, what was seven years ago? 2014? And it felt like it was just yesterday. Especially this decade. Feels like time went. Time goes by so fast. From the 2010s. To now. Yeah, time flies so fast. But from the 2000s to the 2010, it felt so slow. Then maximum overdrive. Especially the, the 2014. 2014 to the 2018 period. I feel like so many things happened within such a short time. In that period. Then 2019, yeah, it's good. 2020 felt like it didn't happen, thanks to the pandemic. Like everything stopped. Like we were renewing our license to continue with the years. Then 2021, we're still continuing to struggle with the pandemic. Although, I don't want to say it, but most of the people that I know kind of adapted to this, um, this pandemic life. Yeah, like it's become their normal now to expect someone getting sick and then their work, their work hours changing. They didn't, oh, they, you didn't, you didn't see how they prepared it. But I'm guessing if it's just coffee and lemon, maybe there's sugar in it. But yeah, I still can't, I still don't know what, what it tastes like. And also the coffee beans, that's important. Because different coffee beans might taste different, also in the way they're prepared. I've I've been told that the hotter the hotter the water used to brew the coffee, the bitter it is, the, or the stronger the flavor is of the coffee. I'm not sure. Yeah, it, I'm I'm more instant actually. Although I want to try brewing coffee sometime with a either with a French press or a mocha pot. I have neither of those currently. That's why I make do with instant coffee. <laughs> Social ending or cure ending? Pick one. Pick a root. Aside from the sickness, a 
Lazada has many, many French press. Or yeah, that no, that's the thing. I w I ordered one. I ordered one. When was that? In one of their promo, one of their monthly promos. The the the, the double digit. Was it four four or five five? I ordered one. It didn't arrive. That's why I got discouraged into ordering another one because it might. Uh, I was waiting for a sale since it's only my first try. But I think I got I bought it from a good a good shop a good seller. It had a high rating and there were many people who bought it. But I didn't receive it. Lazada canceled. So yeah, didn't buy it from the store. Sometimes it's never, it's never, it's never what they look like. The picture is different from the item that you get. And that's sometimes that's the risk that we take ordering online. <laughs> Plague in gameplay is going for far too long now. Someone played on the Area 51 computer, and this is what they got. They changed. They altered the future, and we are living in the altered future. So there is a timeline. There exists a timeline, a separate timeline from us, where things seem to be better. Things are better. Alright. We are in a simulation. Now, wouldn't that be? We're in the matrix. Alright, um, I need to end this stream now. Alright. Okay. So, um, there are different timelines, yes? Yep. Uh, there were theories, right? Like that. Alternate dimensions, alternate timelines. Right, so uh, yeah, it is getting late, but happy long weekend to you guys. We might be babies, cry preserved, and just in VR. This is this is Hideo Kojima. This is a game by Hideo Kojima. Elpsai Kongru. This is which timeline are we on? Hyowin Kyoma. Oh, imagine having a Krisu. Kristina. Elpsai Kongru. And do the pose. Do the pose like a mad scientist. Right. right. But now, that's enough for today. Let's continue this tomorrow for Gardic Phone. The zombie. The zombie. And there's the, the green. What is that? The slime man? The slime man. There's a lot about Steins Gate that I've forgotten about now. I think it's time that I rewatched it. Now, even my, in my first rewatch, I was so confused. Just I was just, uh, trying to follow along. Yep. Goodbye and good night. Good morning, night. But mostly, it's still mostly night. So good night. Have a nice morning, night. And you guys have a nice weekend. Have a great weekend. It's a long weekend. Get some much needed rest. All right. It starts really slow, and then when it's about to end, it starts moving really fast. Oh no, you meant Stein's Gate. Yep. Alright, bye bye. Good night. Thank you very much for watching. Ja Hi, and oh, Mai is here. Where were you, Mai? Or you were just lurking? Alright, bye bye. Hi, Mai. Oh, I'm so sorry, we're ending the stream now. Alright, bye bye. Yeah, that's the next stream. Bye bye. There is more. Why is late? No, they pro they were probably lurking. Oh, yeah, uh, but um, you're you're on the Discord server, right, my So let's meet up there again. <laughs> oh, you really are late. Nah. Yeah, but that's that's fine. So only only watch only watch my videos if you guys are not busy and you have time to spend. But I am thankful. So again, thank you again for. Um, but still, thank you for very much for visiting, even though we're finishing up. That's fine. So 
Yeah, yeah, met the next stream. Thank you very much for watching. Bye bye.